for me, for everybody who's watching this, wherever they may be, for the, for the youth on course, juniors who are here, let's run through you know, the, the basics of your wedge setup, your alignment, your ball position, things that you and Michael Bannon might check on, uh, things that you and um, Harry, your caddy, might check on. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I think with a wedge, you're, you, you don't want to be too stiff with it either. So I try to, you know, I try to have my stance you know, a little narrower than, than what it would be with a, with a, a mid iron or a driver. Um, and I try to sort of have the ball right, right sort of in the middle of my, in the middle of my stance. I, you know, it's not too far back. It's certainly not too far forward. Um, I think if I can have it right in the middle of my stance, it just makes it easier. As I talked about this synced up feeling to just try to collect the ball on the way through. Um, so yeah, fundamentals are important. I think for me, the big thing is, is, as I said, it's trying to keep my body, my, you know, everything moving through the shot. I think sometimes you take, you know, you're making small swings with a wedge that your arms can sort of take over at times. And I think that the best way to control, control wedges is to, to feel like you're hitting it with, with your arms and your body all coming through at the same time. So that's a, that's a, a big key for me. Rory probably didn't even realize he said this, but he didn't say when I hit the ball. That's not what he said. He said when I collect the ball. Put that in your noggin, do not forget it. He's not trying to hit the ball. He's using that synchronized motion to collect the ball. Is, is that something that you came to or is that always how you've thought about it? It's something that I came to, definitely. I think, you know, you just let the ball get in the way. You know, the ball, you know, you make, you make a certain swing or a certain movement and yeah, I've always, especially with wedges, you know, I, there, there's certain clubs that you hit. Like, I certainly don't collect a driver. You know, that's a that's a club that you 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 hit. You know, you 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 make a harder swing, and there's a little bit of a hit in it. But I think for wedges and for more control, you know, that that sort of collecting thought or that collecting motion is is definitely the best. Yeah, I think that's an incredibly valuable piece of information. From I won't say the word because you'll all cheer again. Rory McIlroy. <laughs> Um, okay, so one more with that, and then I want to talk about your set makeup, you know, lofts, lies, things of that nature, and how you might hit 125, 50, 75. So your most lofted wedge, Rory, would be what for you? Is a, um, yeah, it's right around 60 degrees, like a lot. So wedge. let's just hit a few yeah. with that. And, and club selection is... Well, it's a very interesting thing, isn't it? It doesn't mean that every time you're 50 yards, you're going to hit a 60 degree wedge, does it? No, it doesn't. It, it depends on the shot, where the, where the pin is on the green. Do you want to run it? Do you want to fly it there? Yeah, there's so many different options with wedges. Um, and the one thing I've realized with, with those sort of shots is you, you just, you take the, whatever the easiest option is and whatever the, the option is that you feel like you can replicate uh, over and over again is, is, is the best one. Yeah, well, another, another, boom! That was Rory McElroy dropping some more knowledge on you right <laughs> there for sure. Take the option that you feel you could do, you could perform uh, for the most part. How about trying to hit one into that first net by the 25? Medium trudge. Yeah. <laughs> do you always do that? Not, Knock it not, in the target not, every not, time. Not, not always. Well, that was pretty impressive. If you were warming up and you left one a bit short or a bit long, uh, would you adjust consciously or would it be a bit more unconsciously? I think for a, um, a target this close, it would just be more unconsciously. I think this is, a, you know, for me, again, I'm not thinking that it's 25 yards. I'm not thinking about the swing I'm trying to make. I'm literally just trying to focus on where the where I want the ball to land, you know, I'm focusing on my on my landing spot, and and I'm just trying to let my body react to that to that visual. You know, you said medium trajectory, and so I'm trying to I'm trying to visualize that trajectory, and then I just sort of feel that the swing I need to make on it to make at it to for it to go there. So.